All right, this is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. You know where my heart lies. It lies with cloisonate. I can't help it. It's my thing. It's it's the thing that has a dramatic impact on me. It it makes my heart flutter. You know, I could be blood pressure, but I'm pretty sure it's just looking at some of these cloisonate pieces. If I have a heart attack, you'll know I was right about the one thing. <laughs> Myocardial infarction. So listen, this is a pretty special piece. I'm going to show you right now. See, it's not very, it's not very big or anything. In fact, it's got a, it's got a sticker on it. So usually I would have stayed away from it. You know, it's a, it's Tutanka. Um, see, it looks kind of Egyptian. Okay, that's because it was um, Ando Cloisonne's export brand. And they didn't want to, they didn't want to represent themselves as like necessarily Japanese or anything. They, uh, they just wanted to make it look like fancy, fancy art that was good for export, which I believe they did. Now some of these Tutanka stickers are just a little bit different. They'll have, uh, they'll have some Japanese kanji on them, and it will say Hirabayashi. So, what we have here is a piece of wireless cloisonne and you can start to see that it has a Moriagi effect as we turn it towards you can you see how much texture there is to that art right there so as we turn it we will find a large Moriagi enamel flower and isn't that just a beautiful thing I mean, that would have been a pretty complicated piece to make, I think. It would be so difficult to have those, uh, you know, those uh, flower petals stay in their own little, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know uh, what you would call that. It's like a cell, you know, for cloisonne, but there was no wire, unless it's a removed wire technique, which I kind of don't think it is. I think it's just wireless cloisonne. So... Um, some of the stickers said Hirabayashi on them. Now, Hirabayashi appears to have at least been at least one of the main artists for Tutanka, maybe Ando. Uh, he's still alive, he's still working, and I've got another Hirabayashi piece that I had researched, and um, turns out they're selling Master Hirabayashi's pieces for you know, eight hundred to thirty-five hundred dollars a piece for his brand new stuff. And I've got two older pieces um, in a, in styles that he doesn't really work in anymore. And I got this one because of that. Can you see that? That is Master Hirabayashi's signature in wireless cloisonne on the very face of this object. I don't know how much that's worth, but but I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't beans. I didn't see any of his other pieces that were signed on the front like that. Mr. Gary Yoshino was nice enough to sell me this piece. <laughs> me and Mr. Yoshino have uh, quite a business relationship. Uh, I've bought more art and antiques from him than I have from any other one place in the entire world. Uh, yeah, just everything he has is uh, incredible. I mean, that's that's just all there is to it. Started with his book and I moved on to uh, all sorts of other things. So, let's get his brother out. What do you think about that? Now these pieces <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness oh I'm not gonna talk for just a second okay those are incredible those are so beautiful wow to have them sitting on my shelf you know just a just a fat old bear of a mechanic in Michigan. Just got 
two pieces by Master Hirabayashi. Uh, this is the uh, this is the piece that I had confirmed uh, was actually made by Master Hirabayashi, uh, by Master Hirabayashi himself through one of his friends, uh, close business and uh, associate and friend. So yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I don't know how much they're worth. I uh, I'm not really into selling most of the stuff that I got from Mr. Yoshino. I uh, I bought it because I love it. You know, if if you're not into these two vases right here, then you know there's probably no reason for you to be watching my channel because this is this is what I love. I mean, I assume somebody else out there likes it too. You know, and these weren't made particularly uh, a long time ago. You know, early in the gentleman's career, which he's still alive right now. I do believe he's an elderly gentleman, although I'm not sure uh, exactly how old or or anything of that nature. You know, I would think 70s, maybe 80s on these pieces. Maybe just a little bit earlier. I'm not positive, but I do know that his pieces that he makes now are super understated. Just one little, you know, colored flower on a on typically a little plate, I think, but. But yeah, what do you guys think of these? I mean, that's that's pretty incredible, am I wrong? Ah, <sighs> goodness. Master Hirabayashi. Nothing but respect and love for you, sir. I'm so happy you're still with us. Uh, you know, I hope you get to see one of these videos someday. And I, uh, I've treated these items with enough respect to do you any sort of credit. I think they're miraculous. I think they're incredible. Uh, I can't imagine how proud you would be of having made something like this, and thank you so much for eventually allowing me the opportunity to own them. Uh, I, I don't know what else I could say. Nothing but gratitude for everybody who ever let me have any of these things. Oh, I hope you guys like looking at them as much as I like showing them off. Everybody have a nice day. This is Austin at the Best Second of Ford Antiques Channel.